by belief. Every day's a good day when you paint by belief, by belief. It'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. Oh, hello. Hi. Ah! Happy New Year, everyone. How are you all doing today? What not a better way to start the new year than with Bob Ross and also me forgetting that it was Sunday. Kabam! Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's really small because I have a lot of space. We're going to be doing the Glacier Lake. That's what we're going to be doing today, which I, is an amazing episode, and I've watched it a few times now, and I think it's really good. Um, I have most of the colors. I can kind of make the ones I don't have. Um, it's not exactly wintry, right? If we look at it, it's not like super wintry. It's not, it, not going to make you feel just like it's the Arctic and everything, but the Glacier part of it looks really good and uh, it has a wintry feel. And then there's some trees in front of it. And I've kind of missed doing green trees and stuff like that, so that sounds weird. But I think we're going to kind of be take a little bit of a uh, journey back to there. And it is a white canvas, and I have liquid white, so we should be good to go. All right. I think we're good to go. I think the coloring... I will make the coloring work. We'll figure it out. Where do I put this? We'll put it over here. Should I do... Is that a bad idea? I feel like that's a bad idea. All right, so today we're doing Glacier Lake, which is uh, basically a giant glacier over here, followed by uh, a small valley of trees in the back, and then a closer foreground for uh, trees. And then I think we also have a lake in the like the extreme foreground. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna show you a mountain. That oh my god, takes that's... Up most of this paint. Look at Bob's palette. Do you guys see how many fucking colors that is? I already know the first two. He's starting with titanium white, phalo blue, Prussian blue, midnight black, dark sienna. Van Dyke Brown, Crimson Red, Sap Green, Cad Yellow, Indian Yellow, and then I believe a Yellow Ochre, which is basically every color ever. I don't actually have all those colors, but we'll just start with the ones I have. And stuff like Prussian Blue we can make, mixing Phalo Blue and a bit of Midnight Black, so we could do all that. But let's start off the simple way, by me adding the fucking thickest paint I've ever seen in my entire life, which is Titanium White. Hold on, I gotta do two hands, and we should be good. All right. Oh, God. Push it out. Okay, it's fine. God. <laughs> Come on. You have to squeeze so hard. Let's base our canvas with a bit of liquid white, and then we can start. Which looks ridiculous when we do it, but let me put this down. All right, I'm just going to go across the whole canvas. Not, it doesn't look like I'm doing much. I'm just basically making the canvas wet, and that's good enough for us. I can barely see what I'm doing either, because it's, it's just white on white. So I think in today's episode... Okay. Bob is actually going to do clouds a bit differently than we're used to. I was watching it really quickly, and I think the method he used looked a bit different, but the clouds are going to be right behind the glacier we make, and it's, uh, there. he makes them, I, I don't know if it's the two-inch or the one-inch breath method, but usually we use a fan brush, so it's going to be a bit different, which will be fun, because I prefer the one-inch brush method. You know what? I just realized I'm painting with the silica gel packet in between the canvas. Don't do that. I think we're ready to start. Having fun watching a dude paint a white canvas white. You know what? This is where all the magic happens. You don't realize how important this step is. Beat the devil out of it. All right, Bob, you ready? Because I'm ready. It's painting. Let's start out and have him run all Let's the go. colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. All right, Bob, I'm ready. That, let me show you what I've got done today. Bela Blue? Have my standard old double prime pre stretch canvas, and I'm using an 18 by 24 inch, but standard. you use whatever size is convenient. And I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin, even coat of liquid white. So it's all wet and slick and ready to go. And Easy. Let's just have a good time. Let's start today. We'll use a little phthalo blue. I Hell like yeah, phthalo Bob. blue. It's a very pretty, warm blue. A little bit on the two-inch brush. And we just go right up in here and just making little crisscross strokes, little X's, something about like that. There. Maybe we'll put a little cloud in the sky, too. So I'll just leave a little area sort of open. There we go. If we're going to put a huge mountain in here. We don't need a lot of sky. Sweet. Let's just, tell you what, let's do a big one right there like that. Something like that. Yep. Whatever. Maybe underneath there. Oh, well, Bob, you got a lot. A what the heck? water down at the base, just depending on how much time we have left. Huge okay, mountain. Bob, you got to slow down. Hold on. Nah. Bob already has like a bunch of, sh like a bunch of shit done. All right, here we go. Okay, cool. I like that. Let's take a little bit of this Prussian blue, like Bob was saying. A little, little bit of brush, and we'll do the uh, we'll do the corners up here, make them a bit darker. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. That really is the fun part. That's the fun part. Let's go into titanium white. Just take the old two-inch brush and tap it. Just tap it right into some titanium white. 
Let's make a cloud now. Go up here. Always using the two-inch brush, brush method. Decide where your cloud lives in your world. It's the easiest way I know of making a big effective cloud. Just tap in a basic shape. Right here. I like that right there. Looks good. Maybe it comes right on around. I don't know. A little more color. We don't care. Maybe it just sort of floats out like that. I like that. So here goes. Hold on, Bob. Hold black. on. I'm still doing clouds. Cut us off a little bit. Hold on, Bob. Paint. Stop. Lives right stop. Up. Stop. 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 All right. Hold on. Is that the only? I think I, I kind of want to do one more cloud. I don't know if it's too many clouds though. Just kind of think I would do another cloud over here, like a little. We don't gotta copy Bob, right? Bob doesn't want us to copy him. He wants us to make our own painting. And I'm, I'm feeling like a cloud right there. Whoops. Knocked my trash can over. So here goes. Midnight black. Cut us off a little roll of paint. It lives right on the edge Just of the Just full night. midnight black? Here. That's scary, dude. First me. Lives right <laughs> Just put it Hold in on, did Bob just, shit. did Bob just put like, bravery test slap it right, right in there? And make our first major decision, <sighs> jump right in. What? I think there's a big rock, lives right there. Just put in a basic, basic shape, that's all we're looking for at this point. Just using black. You can put a little Prussian blue with it if you wanted to, but I'm just using basically black, maybe, why not? Right about there. We'll just have another big rock. What? And, uh, as I say, this is your bravery test. Oh my God. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe another rock over here. Wait, I'm not done yet, Bob. I bet you're saying, Bob, you've you've done it this time. The mine has finally gone. <laughs> you may be right too. <laughs> you may be right. <laughs> Bob. There. I've been told that before. It's just a little white Prussian blue. Oh, a good strong blue. Hold on, I'm just, I don't know what this again, is going to do, honestly, this is scary. The the knife. All right. Just Sizing's all wrong? Wiggling it. I want to bring it to a nice sharp edge. Whatever, we'll by figure it out. It and pulling it, it'll bring the paint toward the end of the bristles, and that'll happen automatically. Oh, wow, he's actually, he's way bigger, whatever. Yeah, maybe in our world, there's a nice, maybe this is a big glacier that lives up here. There we go. Just pull it right through wow. like that. Decide where all these little things live. This is like the sketchiest thing. I think I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mess up Bob's method and do a little bit of a thing out here to fix the scaling. But I think it'll be fine. Bob will be real proud of us. I'm gonna mix it up from Bob's technique. All right. I'm gonna use a one-inch brush for this part because he's got two brushes. Bob, you leave that there. I'm gonna. <clears throat> sure. I'm using a one-inch brush because I want to keep my uh, my two-inch one basically clean. That is so gray. Bob, I'm like worried. That's like way grayer than yours. I'm gonna blend the shit out of this. I'll tell you that. Side I'm not dish. sure about this one. I'm just gonna say already. Right. There better be some miracles happening. Painting is such an individual thing, and each person sees nature through different eyes. <laughs> I don't know you what see the fuck I'm the doing. way it should be painted. A little practice, and you'll be shocked at what you can do. <laughs> now then. Okay, Bob. Hold on, Bob. I'm not done yet. Bob, we're not done yet. Hold on. I can't, Bob. You're rolling so fast. Bob, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some time to rescue this. Hold on. <clears throat> Happy accident, right? Okay. Whew. It's floating, obviously. So is Bob's, kind of. All right. I'll. Uh, I'll bring it down. What do you think it's supposed to do? All glaciers float, man. You ever put ice in water? You know what it does? It floats, dude. Now maybe in our world it lives. Some nice little trees, we back here in the background. Just gonna tap downward with these. Just tap downward. Like so. I was like, you know what? We'll do a Bob Ross painting today, it'll look great. Don't worry, I'm gonna be super happy. Last week's turned out well, you know, that means this week will be great. This this part was just like, wait, Bob, where are you? There, just all kinds of little things. Oh, you're going from that side? We said we was gonna make a big mountain today. We weren't kidding, were we? This is one okay. monster mountain. Sure. Okay, Bob. Mm. Okay. I'm kind of happy with that little grove of trees. A big evergreen tree. All right. We'll make this there work. There he is. Now, if you have oh, great! Evergreen tree. That sounds add easy. A little paint thinner. A little paint thinner to your brush. You know, if I could just cover this all with evergreen trees, it'd probably be better. Again. Well, I'll go back. What color is that? Do one right there. How about that, Bob? Would you be happy if I did one right there? A little taller, maybe. Bob, That's Bob, just wait. Bob, Bob, Bob goes so fast sometimes I can't keep up with him. Like he's light years ahead of me right now. 
I gotta say, I'm actually really happy with the way that tree came out. That actually... I, I kind of like that tree. I like it a lot. You put the tree in water? Well, it's not gonna be in water forever. So I think what Bob was saying about the thicker paint and thinner paint thing is definitely the problem I'm having right now. My paint's not really sitting on top of this. And I can't really... I don't know how to make it thinner. I guess a little paint thinner? <laughs> Maybe paint thinner, make it thinner. Oh yeah, that actually just did a lot better of a job. Bob, Bob like went way ahead of me, by the way. I don't know what the heck he's doing. Put some grass on here, which I don't really know how... Hold on, how did he do the grass? He painted it? No shit. There's two he did some like secret grass technique I'd never seen before. So just magic is basically the answer, by the way. I thinned it down with some liquid white because I thought that would look nice. You know what? I'm going to do my own method. Bob would want me to. All right. And I'm going to use a fan brush, and I think the fan brush would make this look a lot nicer. See, that looks way nicer, in my opinion, than it did before. And make some little stone. Wait, what kind of brush is there. that? There, wherever you think they should live. Right in here. I don't have that brush. Some out. I, I technically have a brush over here, the kind of the same size as that. Way. Bob just pulling out brushes I don't have right now. Put a it's a Gilbert brush. This is my uh, improvised Gilbert brush. It's his brother, Gilbert, and he wants me just to make like little rocks, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't like that, Bob. I don't like that one bit. Get together. You want to do water lines already? I'm gonna put in one little bushy up here, and then I'm gonna call this one done. But what? Take a little green. Bob, this is not done. Brush. I know there's a little bush lives right here. All right, hold on. I got a happy little bush. Things need to happen. Hold on. Bob's calling this one done. I don't think it's ever near done. I feel like something. I mean, I like it. Looks cool and everything, kinda. I wish there was a lot less like green and stuff inside these trees and all. I feel like something's missing from this painting, though. Like, majorly. I like that's sure. The line. I like the little area over there. Honestly, let's do those bushes. Let's see what Bob's doing. The problem is, I feel like there's too much water coming through those trees. And I'm pretty sure it's a bad thing. I don't know if this is gonna ruin it. But I need to add, I want to add more depth here. I don't know. What about the waterfall? I don't know. The waterfall is just doing its thing. It's just doing a water, whatever waterfalls do, it's just doing it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 out of all my paintings I've done. It's not terrible. Let me sign it and we could be done with this one. I'd rather just, you know, learn our lesson and continue for the next one. Bob likes to sign it in red, so I'm going to copy him this time and sign it in red. Boop. There we go. Beautiful. I feel like I need to show you some of my other paintings so I don't seem so bad. Oh, can we see? I don't know if actually this is in frame. There we go. Look, it almost, it's almost like part of the same picture. Only this one seems way more frozen. Because it is, there's no trees. that are like green. It's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Almost follows the mountainside. Well, I got a few more over here I can show. Here's that one we did as well. I like this one a lot. We're actually starting to get quite a few paintings in here. Here, I'll show you the first one I ever did called like mystical or magical mountain. I can't remember what it was. Look at that pathway. It's beautiful. Those clouds are awesome, by the way. I think the mountain part of it, I would have rather have done this a big old mountain in the background rather than a glacier, but you gotta mix it up, right? You gotta try something new. Show the sunset one. <laughs> I don't want to, it's bad. <laughs> Show Bob's comparison. Oh yeah. His glacier is much more vertical. Mine's much more mountainous, kind of. So it, kinds of, it comes out a bit weird, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. I don't think I'll do any more glaciers, though. I don't think Bob even has any more glaciers, so I think it's fine. Best painting you painted all year. Not this one. The f I think the, uh, the maybe last week was the best one. Though these trees, though you can't see it because it looks so weird. Maybe a close-up is a lot better. Those trees are by far the better one. Like, the better trees I've made before, so. This is the best painting all year. Oh, my God. The joke. Oh, I missed the joke. Ugh. I think that's pretty much good to go for now. <laughs> that is the best painting all year. Let's continue. Let's do another one of these next weekend, obviously. Uh, we'll do it on Saturday, probably not on Sunday, because Sunday's a bit weird with the, uh, the whatever it's called, the podcast. And then that easel right there, my parents bought me for Christmas, which is pretty cool. So thanks, Mom and Dad. I appreciate it. I'm, I hope I'm making you proud with this poopy painting. <laughs> Have a nice day, you guys, and Happy New Year, of course. And I'll see you later. Hello. I'm Bob Ross, that's, and I'd like Bob's to welcome wave. you. First of all, let me take just a moment to thank you for allowing me back into your homes. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your oil paints and paint along with us each week. Let's go over to the canvas here, and, and let's get started. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe.